Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I am your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. If you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. So a report came out that the Miami Heat are motivated to find a new team for Kyle Lowry, per Greg Sovander from Five Reasons Sports Network. Now, the report also said that the organization believes the guys in the locker room, even Lowry's closest friends, recognize the need for a change. And at the end of the day, the Miami Heat, we took a gamble and it failed. You know, I just didn't like Kyle Lowry's attitude coming over here from the very beginning. Because how are you going to still be out of shape? He's been out of shape his whole career. You know, he's been overweight his whole career. And I just think that if you're going to be 36 years old, you're going to have to be in good shape to play in the NBA, especially as a starting point guard. You know, there's no starting point guard that's going to be giving you three and five points and the team is going to be successful. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. You know, this season he's played 44 games. Kyle Lowry is averaging 12.0 points. He's shooting 39.6% from the field, 4.3 rebounds, and 5.3 assists. But to be honest, his numbers don't even look that bad. But when you look at the overall basketball game, the game of basketball, there's no impact. He's had three points against the New York Knicks, six points versus Cleveland, two points versus Boston, six points versus Orlando, five points versus Dallas. Like, all that's unacceptable. You know, the Miami Heat, we brought Kyle Lowry over here for his veteran leadership, his championship experience, for him to take the load off of Jimmy, Bam, and Tyler, and to make this team better. We don't need 30 points a game. We need at least 12 to 15 points a game from Kyle Lowry. We paid that man $90 million. He said he wanted to be here. He said he chose this team because he thought we could win a championship. He said he chose this team because he thought we had the best chance to win. So I don't know if he's hurt. I don't know if there's, you know, team chemistry issues. And to be honest, I think that's what some of it is because the fact that they're highly motivated to move Kyle Lowry all of a sudden when they didn't want to trade him. Now, guys in the locker room even think that he needs a change of scenery. So guess what? At the end of the day, Jimmy Butler's boy has to go. You know, we, we try to make it work. He wanted to use this stupid excuse saying that he's trying to get uh, Tyler more involved, Jimmy more involved, Bam uh, more shots. No. When he sees the offense sluggish, when he sees the offense stagnant, he has to step up. That is why we brought Kyle Lowry over here. And the fact that he's been overweight, out of shape, and lousy, you know, he has to get off this team immediately. You know, Jimmy Butler's championship window is closing as we speak. And you have this guy, and then now allegedly he's hurt. Like, if it's not one thing, it's another. And it's just all these excuses. I just never see Kyle Lowry come out here and give us a good game of basketball ever since he's been here. You know, all the the best thing that he's done in a Miami Heat uniform is do those hit ahead passes that lead to absolutely nothing. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Should the Miami Heat trade Kyle Lowry? Also, too, what do you guys think that the Miami Heat could get for Kyle Lowry in exchange? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 2,000 subscribers.